Today on Toy Shiz Clamps and Traps, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. One of them, courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. Thank you so much for sending over Clamp Champ. The other one, Trapjaw, got him from Amazon. He's been a pain to come across. But yeah, finally uh, put it in order and they said it was due for, I think, June. And then all of a sudden Amazon, like, you know what, uh, we're just going to ship it now. So it showed up at the door probably about a week after I had pre-ordered it. If I've said it once, I'll say it again. The artwork on these packages, the packages themselves, evoking the 80s, everything. Axel Jimenez, Roy Juarez, everyone that works in Mattel, well done. Same thing on Clamp Champ. I love that this one is more of a deluxe figure and it's fitting. When they do these Masters of the Universe deluxe figures, I feel that they they do them for the appropriate styled characters, whereas, you know, this one will have extra heads and such, but then you have the figures for Trapjaw, and yeah, he comes with all the accessories that you would need. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love to see extra heads and hands and everything else for each figure, but it's nice when you have a special edition one every once in a while. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Eternian coffee. This is a look at the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe, He-Man Origins, Clamp Champ, and Trap Jaw. And here they both are out of the packaging, and again, each of them come with a lot of different accessories, and ones that do very much add to the value of the figure. For 15, you are getting the Trap Jaw figure, and he comes with three accessories, whereas then you have Clamp Champ, multiple weapons, large weapons, extra hand, and a different head portrait. Very much in that style of Mass Universe, you're not gonna have a problem fitting these with other characters, being that, as they do, they mostly use reused body parts here and there, but reuse them well, I think. Each one does have new parts, new accessories, enough to differentiate them between the two. Sometimes with, let's say, He-Man, if you look at Clamp Champ, yeah, you can see parts that they've definitely reused, but at least they do it in a style, whereas it's not its not too noticeable, and then the parts come off and you can create your own characters. But let's talk about Trapjaw first. And this character, yeah, like I said, I've been waiting to get this guy. I walked into Walmart probably about a month ago, and a guy was walking out of the toilet and had them all. Missed him by like two sec, kept missing him. But uh, yeah, finally. But he comes with all these gun attachments, claw attachments, and you know what, if you're interested, yeah, the NECA stands do work for these characters very well so if you're interested in getting some stand all new body part sculpts for this guy and he's very robotic you can see all the sculpted details i really like his belt as well and the colors are fun and this is what really stands out to me for these masters of the universe figures having never collected masters of the universe and getting into them with these they're a lot of fun and they're very sturdy figures now i know that you could put the wire through his little head right there and a lot of the artwork shows that you know you can clamp this on what would have been really cool is if he came with that and this attached and that would be like his bat catapult kind of thing that would have been really cool and slide him around and yada yada one of these days i'll have to do it but i like the fact that you can store each of these little components onto his belt and they store nicely they don't really get in the way of his arms they're not too cumbersome I just like that you can do that. I like that they thought ahead and said, you know, you keep all the pieces together. This robotic arm, surprising enough, I looked at it and I'm like, I hope it moves around a lot. It does. You get a nice rotation out of it. These simply just pop off and put this little grapple claw wrench kind of thing hand on him. And again, yeah, nice articulation overall, being that it's a different styled arm than we're typically used to getting with these characters. The jaw also moves up and down. Again, when I first looked at it, I go, I hope that jaw moves even though it says it on the packaging. I didn't see it. But yeah, it moves up and down. Now, I tried to pull him apart. It's not working. However, you can pull the arms off. You can actually pull both of them off, so you can give your other character the robotic arm if you wanted to do so. But yeah, he's very cool. Same thing with Clamp Champ here, or Clamp Trap, or whatever I called him in that news video, and everybody went crazy on me. But I love this extra head portrait. Reminds me of Blade from Spider-Man the Animated Series comes with an extra hand as well, open hand, so I'm glad that they comes with that. He's got this little mechanized champ, clamp, trap thing. It's flexible, doesn't do much, he just kind of holds it, but that's Mass of the Universe stuff, it's wackadoo. And then he also comes with this little device right here, which is spring activated, which I 
love. Love they do that. Nice sculpted details every which way on this thing. And you simply just push the button and the little pincer arms will spring forward. Now, Clamp Champ himself, very cool to have in hand. Nice head portrait on him. Same exact articulation that you're used to for all the Masters of the Universe figures. He's pretty much got the He-Man body type to him with a new blue vest. Unfortunately on mine, he does pop off at the waist a lot easier. In fact, when I pulled him out of the packaging, he came right off. The arms, yeah, you can swap him out as well. And they, it looks good. I just wish he, he's very loose in the waist. That's unfortunate. And again, the two head portraits, I really like the smirking head. I think they did a fantastic job. I want to see more of that. Swap out the heads, just pop them on, easy peasy. And yeah, that's the head I'm going to definitely display him with. And if you want to hold the weapons, yeah, he holds this. Now keep in mind, it's a bigger weapon. It's heavier. So put him in a pose that he can really stand with or get some Naga stands. Just saying you can have him holding both weapons at the same time, which is fantastic. Now, if you want to go with what the box art shows on the back of Clamp Champ's packaging, yeah, you can pretty much cut Ninjor in half, so to speak. The mechanism on this is very loose and it's not too powerful at all. If you get it around Ninjor, yes, you can pick him up, but it's not strong at all. And I'm really supporting him by his arms. It's not something that is very much going to keep the character in line at all times. And, you know, just to kind of have some fun, split Ninjor in half, because it really looks like that on the back of the package. And yeah, you can definitely have some fun. When it comes to scaling for each of these figures, they do fit well right into the other Cavalcade cast of the Masters of the Universe, Evelyn, Hordak, Zodak, and She-Ra. And really the colors, the fantastic nature of all these characters are a lot of fun. And yeah, they will go very well with He-Man and Skeletor, <laughs> which I'm sure everyone can find on the store shelves at the moment. That's really all I see. However, I think the distribution is getting a lot better, especially if you go to Targets. So that's really going to wrap it up for my look at these brand new Masters of Man Origins figures. I do recommend both. I think each of them come with the appropriate amount of accessories for each character. I really like Trapjaw. I like that each of the little mechanisms pop into his arm and that he also has weapon storage. Clamp Champ is unique in that he has that chompy, clampy kind of thing, as his name would suggest. Although I do wish it was a lot stronger to really pick up the characters because it's very loose on the grip. More hands, more heads. I'm really excited for the upcoming Cronus and Keldor two-pack as well. And then this week, I'll also have a look at Landshark and then finally ending on the new Castle Grayskull, where I'm going to I'm going to pull out every single He-Man Origins figure I've gotten so far. I'm caught up now. I think uh, what's the, I need I need Ram Man. That's the one that I am looking for. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new He-Man figures. Will you be picking them up? Do you already have them? Comment below. Let me know. And let's talk everything Mattel He-Man Origins. And again, thank you to Mattel for sending Clamp Champ over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember when it comes to He-Man Origins, you really can't go bizarre enough. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.